So essentially, it's shooting really um, high frequency waves rays or CT scans, which give you radiation, which can eventually cause. Closer and take a But what's something that sort of makes you more likely to have a heart attack in your life? You know, I mean, you guys learn about what you're not supposed to do in school. Welcome back, I'm Blair Miles Travis and here to tell us more about the Summer Science Camp. Here is James. James, tell me what's going on while we're here. So we have a Summer Science Camp that is really a celebration of the year's worth of activities that we've been running for science enrichment um, throughout the, the inner city uh, in conjunction with uh, Winnipeg School Division at uh, the Inner City Science Centre uh, at Nijimaka School. Uh, we have about 160 kids here divided into 10 groups and they're going through a rotation of different science activities um, from early um, appreciation of physiology, biochemistry to some clinical practice so they get some exposure, particularly some of the older kids that are looking at health careers um, and, making, and thinking about making choices for where they want to go to university. So they go to the simulation lab downstairs, they go and do some respiratory therapy, they go across to pharmacy, they go across to cancer care, they go to dentistry, they learn to be cool. a dentist for the day. Yeah, it's really, really cool. It's a very, very fun thing to do. So it's the 10th year. Why do you think it's still so popular? Well, I think it's because the opportunities here for hands-on science activities um, are um, second to none, really, as far as uh, science camps concerned. I think, to some extent, science um, has become a bit of a textbook subject in schools. Mm -hmm. And the, the comments that we get back from kids is that this is really, really cool because we actually get to do stuff with our hands. So are they ever, you know, they come in thinking, uh, thinking one thing and then learning a whole bunch of new stuff? Um, it's hard to know what they are thinking, um, but certainly they come away um, having really had their minds expanded by um, what they've been exposed to. And we've had a lot of repeats uh, that come back um, each year. Uh, it's great. And I have to say that the, the, the camp that we run would not be possible um, without the lifeblood of the camp, and that is the volunteer support. So there's two aspects to this camp. One is the opportunities for science enrichment of the camp participants. But the other is um, the opportunities for leadership experience and, and teaching experience um, of the volunteers that jump on board to help us out both to run the activities and to act as chaperones for the kids. Um, and they get to participate in the activities too. Great. Thank you so much for this. Absolutely. Stick around. Still more to come. On go.